Mississippi on a crisp 60 degree night in downtown Memphis. The NBA playoffs are presented by Google Pixel with first round coverage on NBA TV presented by AT&T 5G. This has hot a ticket as they have had here maybe ever in Memphis. As we get you set for game two between Memphis and Minnesota, can the Timberwolves follow up what they did here with that stunning Game one victory on Saturday. Hi, everyone. So great to be with you courtside alongside the Hall of Famer, the great Grant Hill. I'm Spiro Vitas. What a performance by the Minnesota Timberwolves here. Stunning Memphis in game one. John Morant, 30-plus points in that game. Did struggle over the final couple of quarters, but he knows he has to put even more on his shoulders tonight. With more on that now, let's throw it over to Chris Haynes. All right, John Morant said he didn't have a really good game in game one. 32 points, 8 assists. He said he would back to differ on that. He said and look, he didn't do a good job of getting his teammates involved early. He put the onus of that loss majorly squarely on him. He said in his first quarter, he said look for him to be aggressive, not just for his own shot, but he wanted to set his teammates up. And particularly, he mentioned Jaron Jackson Jr. getting him involved. Then he said they'll be in better shape. Back to you guys. All right, Chris, great stuff. Let's get to our starting lineups. Presented by CarMax. No change in now either. Head coach who will begin this one tonight. Edwards Vanderbilt Towns, Beverly, and D'Angelo Russell. A little bit of an off game for him after he was terrific in their playing victory grant against the Clippers. In the meantime, for Memphis, Brooks Jackson Adams, who continues to struggle against the Timberwolves front, specifically Carl Anthony Towns, of course, Bain and John Moran. Brent, what are you looking for early in this one as we get set here for game two? Well, a lot about what Chris said. Can you establish Jared Jackson Jr. early? Get him going so important to this team. And then the defensive presence of Memphis, non-existent in game one. Can they set the tone on that end of the floor in the first quarter? The other surprising number, one of the surprising numbers in the final box score, in game one was Minnesota out rebounding Memphis one of the top rebounding teams Grant in the league this season and really kind of beat them at their own game a lot of the hustle points that the Grizzlies have really hung their hat on all season yeah, the Grizzlies led the NBA rebound margin offensive rebound second chance points but you said it best the Timberwolves dominated in that area and as they 